Hey yo, good morning guys, WG Bassin here back with another video. Today we are up in the North Woods and we're gonna be fishing some streams for some brook trout, rainbow, brown, you know, whatever we can catch. So if we're catching the keepers today, we're gonna do a catch and cook. So let's start hiking, find some streams and get fishing. This is literally just me out here, guys. I love it. I got the woods all to myself. Nothing better than that. Alright guys, so just made it to the waterfall. Um water's rushing pretty hard. Um I mean this is the first the first day that it didn't rain for the past four days, so I mean I, I kind of expected this, but we're gonna catch a fish today. Hopefully a nice keeper. Do a little north woods catch and cook for you guys. Without further ado, let's get a line in the water and catch some fish, baby. Woo! I'm pumped. Let's get some fish. All right guys, so just gonna go really basic today and um, throw on a worm just because, you know, this water's moving really fast and I just really wanna catch one. And this is the easiest way to do it. So that's what's gonna happen. Hopefully I don't get eaten by a bear because that would suck really bad. And I wouldn't get to catch a trout today. All right, guys, first cast. Here we go. I'm gonna put it. I'll start right over, right over there, right in that foam. You know they like that foam stuff. So nice cast over there. Let her drag out. And then honestly, just let her go. Give her a few jigs here and there, and. I don't see why we wouldn't get bit today. Alright, well, this isn't going the way that I, um, that I planned it to. Fish are really difficult right now, not biting. Um, we're going to keep trying, but not going good. At least it's... It, at least it's beautiful though. I mean, very beautiful, so that's a plus. But icing on the cake would be to, you know, catch a fish, so. Uh, yeah, let's keep trying. All right guys, here's the next spot. Looks really good, so let's get a line in the water. Nice. It's a perfect cast. Oh, just had a fish or a bite. Holy! Oh, that was a good one. Oh yeah, boys, come on. There's fish in here. Come on. That felt nice. That one felt really nice. I gotta get this back out there ASAP. right where it was. Just let her sit. Now you're not gonna bite, huh? Oh, just had a fish right here. Right tucked back in there. Oh, I have one. Oh my god, that is a beautiful brookie. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Stop, 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 stop. Look at that, guys. Beautiful brook trout. Uh, not, he's not big enough, so we're gonna let him go. Absolutely beautiful fish. That's why I love these trout so much. They're just so gorgeous. 
Yes, baby. Let's get some more. There we go. Nice one. Nice. Still not a keeper. Yeah, okay, buddy. Let's get you off. And on your way. Nice. Okay, guys, so um, it's the next day, and I decided to go back out, um, back to the stream, to try to catch some more trout. Um, hopefully get a keeper today so I'm headed there now fingers crossed we can catch a keeper the limit in this stream is eight inches so anything eight or bigger I'm keeping baby so yeah let's get fishing There we go. Oh my God. Oh my God, that was big. Oh my God, no. No. I got that on camera. Did you see how big that was? Oh. It was huge. Dude, I can't get him. This is how, get your, you want to cast, dude? I know. And yesterday I caught two. There we go. Oh my God. No way. Oh. That is the prettiest is fish the I have ever seen in my life. I'll probably throw it away just because it's so pretty. I mean, I definitely have to get a release video. Look how beautiful this trout is, guys. This is probably one of the most beautiful ones I've ever caught. There he goes. Nice! Good code. I know it's not huge, but that might be eight. It might be actually. Yeah. Up, up to here is nine, so that's eight. That is definitely nine, eight, because the eight. full fish isn't yep. even. You want to keep them? I do. Oh shh. It looks a little small. I know. <laughs> I want to catch like a 13, that'd be sweet. That'd be decent. Yeah. Oh, oh. Get him in. Oh my god. That's a really big one. <laughs> <laughs> no way, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Dude, look at that thing. That's a dandy coat. Dog up quick. Oh my god. No way. Look how beautiful he is with the white tips. That's gorgeous. I don't even have to measure him, but. No. I bet you he's close. Fully stretched out, yeah. Hey guys, just caught this nice brook trout. So pretty. <laughs> that is perfect, dude. Alright right, guys, so today, totally different story from yesterday. Today we got it done. 
Um, we got two keepers today. I mean, it was down to the last, I mean, the last spot that we could possibly fish. Um, nice deep hole next to two dead pines in the water. Man, they were, I don't know, I think I caught like five or six trout in that hole. They were holed up there real nice. So, um, yeah, two of them were just beautiful, beautiful. Nice dark orange belly and white tips on the fins and pink spots. I mean, they were just gorgeous. So, um, we kept two of them and now heading back to the cabin and we're going to cook them up fresh as it gets see how they taste see you guys in the kitchen all right guys so we're back in the kitchen just gonna give you a really brief um like tutorial on how i like to cook trout it's very very simple very easy very quick first step you're gonna want to clean your trout however you like to clean it and then um rinse it out with cold water we did this all at the river already but i'm just gonna give it another little wash all right next throw them on some tin foil just like that and then basically just add whatever like spices or flavors you want on your on your fish so i'm gonna do a little splash of olive oil on these guys just stuck some butter right in there some salt and then throw them right on the grill don't cook them too long and then the skin should fall right off the bone then just wrap them up Alright guys, first fish going on. So the key, because these are so small, you don't want to cook them for a very long time. You want to give them maybe a couple minutes each side and then they'll be good. Alright guys, I'm going to take these fish off now, get them unwrapped, and give it a little taste. Let's get it. All right, guys, so here's the finishing touch of the fish. This was a smaller one. It's a lot more pink than the big one. Don't know why. Then I got some melted butter with lemon and salt. So let's try it out. All right. Try the little one first. Just peel the meat right off the bone. Dip it in some butter. Mm. that's very good but I added way too much lemon to this butter but the meat is very good really? it is but there is just way too much lemon in there I'm gonna try it without the butter mm. that's very good awesome good job and now here's the big one Mm. Which one's better? They taste the same. Do they? Yeah. Same kind of fish. Size does not matter. Awesome. Alright. That's it for today's video. Um, next weekend, I got a really big video planned. Um, I'm going to go try to find the elk that we have here in Wisconsin. Um, going to be tent camping out in the northern woods, so... Should be cool. Hopefully we can find some out. Yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And um, until next time, this is Double G Bassin signing out. Peace.